This is Savita Raturi, student of MSc Microbiology, second semester, delivering my talk on the topic, topic propionic acid fermentation. These are my contents. Introduction Fermentation is a metabolic process that converts sugar to acid, gases or alcohols. As we know, microorganisms carry out metabolism of various substrates which are converted into sugars and by different processes they are converted to alcohol, acid and gases. Louis Pasteur in 19th century observed different changes that took place by yeast and microorganisms when they grow in absence of air and termed it as fermentation. So, we can define fermentation as the chemical transformation of organic compounds into simpler substrates by the action of enzyme which are produced by microorganisms such as mold, yeast or bacteria. As we know, during respiration, oxygen is present in axis, so it functions as a terminal electron acceptor and ATPs are synthesized by the oxidative phosphorylation. Here, the first step is conversion of glucose to pyruvate by the glycolysis cycle, which releases out two ATP and two NADH molecules. The electrons that are given out by NADH, that is the H positive ion, are carried by oxygen and are continuously regenerated into NAD positive. Now, the pyruvate is introduced into the citric acid cycle. The regenerated NAD positive results in the synthesis of ATP. Here, one glucose molecule gives out 38 ATPs, that is high energy production, which results in fast growth and high biomass. Now, during the process of fermentation, when oxygen is present in less amount, the ATP is synthesized by the substrate level phosphorylation. Here also the glucose is converted into pyruvate by the glycolysis cycle and release of two ATP and two NADH molecules. Regeneration of NAD positive is essential for energy production for the cell survival. So the pyruvate here does not enter the citric acid cycle. It functions as an electron carrier during this process. It also releases organic molecules such as acetic acid and lactic acid and many more depending upon the orga organism. Here one molecule is converted into two ATPs which means low energy which results in slow growth and low biomass yield. Microorganisms include fungi, algae, bacteria and actinomycetes. Some of the examples are bacteria, actobacter lacti, bacillus subtilis, algae, spirulina maxima, cholera sarcomena, fun fungi, aspergillus oryzae, aspergillus nigeri, etc., actinomycetes, streptomyces griesis, and streptomyces norsi. Propionoic acid fermentation. Propionoic acid is a carboxylic acid with pungent smell and colorless property. Propionoic acid fermentation is produced by an anaerobic bacteria. In propionoic acid bacteria, both sugar and lactates can be used as the initial substrates. When sugar is available, these bacteria uses the EMP pathway to produce pyruvate. The pyruvate is carboxylated to oxaloacetate by methylmalonyl coenzyme CoA and reduced to propionate through malate, fumarate and succinate. The other end products of the fermentation process is acetic acid and carbon dioxide. Microorganisms involved here are Propionibacterium, Bifidobacterium, Cornibacterium. Propionibacteria possesses cytochrome and catalase and can tolerate the same amount of oxygen. They are natural inhabitants of rumen of herbivorous cattle. Propionic acid fermentation pathway. Propionic acid fermentation pathway is an interlinked chain of three pathways EMP pathway, TCA cycle, and would work a men's cycle. Here, the pyruvates react with methyl malonyl CoA to form propionyl CoA and oxaloacetate. Now, the oxaloacetate give rise to malate, fumarate, and succinate by the reverse TCA cycle. Now, in the Woodwicker cycle, 
द प्रोपेनाइल को ए ट्रांसफर को ए टू सक्सिनेट टू फॉर्म सक्सिनाइल को ए एंड प्रोप्यूनिट मेटाबॉलिक पाथवेज देर आर थ्री मेन फॉर्मेंटेशन मेटाबॉलिक पाथवे दैट आर वन टू प्रोपेन डायोल एसोसिएटेड पाथवे एक्राइलेट पाथवे एंड सक्सिनेट पाथवे वन टू प्रोपेन डायोल एसोसिएटेड पाथवे इन दिस सम बैक्टीरिया सच एज सालमोनेला टाइफीम्यूडियम एंड रोजी रूबिया इन्यूलो निवोरस आर नोन टू परफॉर्म द प्रोसेस द एंट्री पॉइंट्स इज डायरेक्टली थ्रू शुगर्स सच एज फ्यूकोस ग्लाइकोसिटिक इंटरमीडिएट ग्लिसरोन फॉस्फेट और लैक्टेट एक्राइलेट पाथवे इट इनेबल्स ए टी पी न्यूट्रल कन्वर्जन ऑफ लैक्टेट टू प्रोपिनेट विद द कंजप्शन ऑफ एन ए डी एच दिस पाथवे इज फाउंड इन सेवरल बैक्टीरिया सच एज इन कोलेस्ट्रोडियम प्रोपियोनिकम दिस मेटाबॉलिक एडवांटेज ऑफ द साइकिल इज नॉट इमीडिएटली क्लियर सिंस अ पायरोवेट फॉर्मुलेट लाइएस पी एफ एल इज प्रेजेंट इन कोलेस्ट्रोडियम प्रोपियोनिकम विच इनेबल्स द एनर्जेटिकली प्रोडक्शन ऑफ ईदर प्रोपियोनेट और इथेनॉल विद एसिटेट इन वन टू वन मोलर रेशियो सक्सिनेट पाथवे द कैटाबॉलिज्म ऑफ पायरोवेट टू सक्सिनेट थ्रू द डी कार्बोक्सिलिक ब्रांच ऑफ द टी सी ए साइकिल ऑफर्स एन ऑल्टरनेटिव इलेक्ट्रॉन सिंक टू इथेनॉल द सोडियम पंपिंग पाथवे फाउंड इन ऑर्गेनिज्म सच एज प्रोपियोनिजीनियम मेडोस्टम कपल्स द डी कार्बोक्सिलेशन ऑफ मिथाइल मेलोनाइल को ए डिराइव्ड फ्रॉम सक्सिनेट टू प्रोपेनाइल को ए विद द पंपिंग ऑफ टू सोडियम आय अक्रॉस द सेल मेम्बरी फैक्टर्स अफेक्टिंग प्रोपेनाइक एसिड फॉर्मेंटेशन सेवरल फैक्टर्स इन्फ्लुएंस द प्रोपेनाइक एसिड फॉर्मेंटेशन दे आर द माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म स्पीशीज पी एच टेम्परेचर कार्बन सोर्स टाइम ऑफ फॉर्मेंटेशन नाइट्रोजन सोर्स टाइप एंड द कंसनट्रेशन एप्लीकेशन एंड यूजेस प्रिपनोइंग एसिड एंड द सॉल्स आई यूज इन बेकिंग इंडस्ट्री कॉस्मेटिक टेक्सटाइल फार्मा लाइफ स्टॉक चीज इंडस्ट्री प्लास्टिक इंडस्ट्रीज एंड प्रिजर्वेटिव इन फूड इंडस्ट्रीज प्रिपनोइक एसिड एंड इट सोडियम कैल्शियम एंड पोटेशियम सॉल्स आर इनकॉर्पोरेटेड टू सप्रेस द ग्रोथ ऑफ मोल्ड एंड रोप इन ब्रेड्स एंड केक्स on surface of cheese malt fruits etc the association of propionoic acid with lactic and acetic acid is used for preservative of food in animal therapies sodium propionate has been used in wound infection dermatosis that is the antifungal agents anti arthritic drugs and conjugatives production of cellulose plastic used in textile filters reverse osmosis membranes liquor formulation and molding plastics also used in herbicides propionic acid is used in cheese industry for giving the texture and taste of the cheese they are also used in manufacture of ester solvents and fruit flavors used in perfume bases and butyl rubbers to improve processability conclusion propionic acid and their salts have many uses in different fields of biotechnology apart from food industries therefore there is a need of increasing the production of propionate by taking the advantage of all non pathogenic bacteria which are capable of fermenting different substances such as sugar amino acid and others to produce large amount of propionate thank you